guys, it is, I think it's one o'clock, let's say. 101 p.m. Sunday, November 29th. Uh, I'm looking at the computer because I have no idea. I've gotten a cumble, cup cumble. You know, oh yeah, yeah. So I got a couple of videos filmed for December that I'm gonna work on editing this afternoon along with the vlog for last week. I'm gonna try to get that edited today and get the writing for next week done today. Hopefully, that's a lot, like all on my agenda. Um, so I can do some more filming tomorrow and more editing tomorrow. Yeah, so we're working on a December project and I don't know if I'm gonna get videos up on the channel every single day. I'm gonna to try to film something every day, but I might just do a compilation where I just put the video up once. I don't know, what, I don't know yet, I don't know. Um, anyway, I am um, doing some more purging. I have uh, like one or two more days in November to purge and or use things up. Um, I went through some cross stitch kits that I found and um, gave some to um, yeah, um, my daughter's one of my daughter's best friends and my former daycare baby slash adopted daughter Jenny. Um, I didn't know until this weekend that she does cross stitch, so um, she went through the kits and pulled a couple out that she wanted to do. And I am going to uh, purge the ones that I'm just not interested in ever doing. I have three here. I think I'm gonna. They're bigger kits than I usually like to work on, but they're not super huge. They're like four by three. So I think I'm going to um, be working on those. Um, they're this guy and they're from the UK I think I tend to like UK cross stitch kits I don't know what the deal is with that but anyway I like the designs uh, that was fun not so I was working on the December videos and my YouTube external hard drive died like it's like dead dead like there is no recovering it dead it's not even trying to spin up my husband's like, did you smack it? Because, you know, he is an engineer and he works in the electronics industry. That's his salute. Did you smack it? Right. Yes. By the way, I smacked it. It didn't help. <laughs> I always look at him like, really? You know, you work with multi-million dollar computers and that's your solution? Did you smack it? <laughs> anyway, smacking it didn't help. He's ordered me a new one. The debate is now, do I bother downloading all my old video off of YouTube? Um, I think the answer to that is no, and I think I'm going to keep it as a working editing hard drive, but I think once things get loaded to YouTube, I'll probably delete them. Uh, I'm going to keep it fairly clear in case one of the other ones acts up and I need to move things over. Anyway, fun times. I was just messaging with some friends and asking them what they think about do I need to bother be bothered downloading all the U old YouTube videos? Because I'm friends with some fairly large channels. They don't save any of their old videos. It's on YouTube or it's not on YouTube. It's just, yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go see if my computer is done saving the last December video I filmed today. And then see if I can get things loaded and scheduled. Then I can turn this stupid thing off. That would be a good idea. I'll be guys. <coughs> you ever choke on a sip of water? Yeah, that's me today. Anyway, <laughs> um, it is about 1230 on Monday, November 30th. Don't get excited. I looked it up already. Um, I was just sitting down and getting ready to eat lunch after printing all of the addresses for Christmas cards and realized I forgot something to do before I eat lunch that has to do with our new December daily affirmation journal. So I'm going to set that up and print that, then I'm going to have lunch, then we're going to film a couple of episodes for the December Daily. I do think I'm going to film them ahead. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film like all 31 days this week, but I do think I'm going to like film them in blocks and then um, air them on YouTube. Okay, I got the first five days of the new December Daily Affirmations Journal done and I am editing them right now. And I'm loving the process, you guys. It's not like Picasso or anything. It's not your traditional art journal. Sort of smash booking, maybe. Sort of, I don't know what it is, but I like it. 
anyway, I hope you guys like it too. I hope you like watching. I hope you like doing and I hope you share. That would be great. All right, I think Amazon came. Maybe the mail came. I'm gonna go check. I'll be back. Everybody, it's Tuesday morning, December 1st. Don't get excited, I only know that because you know. Yeah, I looked at the computer. Um, it's 9.36 a.m. We have a live broadcast this morning, um, which I have yet to set up for or announce. And it's supposed to start in like less than a half an hour. So I better get to it. My daughter's texting me. I don't know what about. Yeah, it's a thing. So anyway, I don't. morning. I'm having a late start of it. Uh, what time is it? It's 10.33. Oh, my hair is wet. I obviously just got out of the shower. I didn't even finish my coffee until about half an hour ago. Because, you know, it's COVID and Wednesday and I didn't have any pressing engagements first thing this morning. Um, I do want to film a few more um, pages in the December Daily. Um, one of them is for patrons. I'm going to finally explain to you all my process step by step for doing the video. For those of you watching it on YouTube or in the Facebook art groups, um, you're going to get a speed through video. But if you want to see the talking one, you have to be over on Patreon. And why does my eye look red this morning? I don't know. Maybe it's just the camera. I have no idea. Anyway. Uh, so I am going to log on to all the social medias and I'm going to double check on things, answer comments on YouTube, and then we're going to get started with the filming because yeah, won't do itself. All right, I'll be back. Try take two because I inadvertently showed my address and take one. <laughs> anyway, I've shared this on social media to, or I'm going to share this on social media tonight, but I just wanted to share with you all a couple of DIY projects, inexpensive projects I'm working on. So as you all know, if you're following me here on YouTube and on social media, I'm doing my version of a December Daily, which is more about positive informa uh, affirmations and making the best of what is going to be a strange holiday season at best, um, rather than focusing on all the stuff that's going wrong. I know that's way easier said than done. Trust me, I made the mistake of watching a news video a couple minutes ago. Anyway, we're working on the positive affirmation video and our uh, journal, and I'm loving working on it, but I have so many pieces and parts. When I'm working on it, like there's literally like no, you can't see the mat on the table. Like it's, it's so full of stuff. And when I want to um, stop in between and work on something else, a stitching project, or I'm going live or something, like it just takes me so long to clear the table. So I thought there's gotta be a better way. So I made, a organizing box out of this is just a cardboard box we got a flat of tomatoes in at the store that we're, we're still eating they're delicious but the flat didn't need to be in the kitchen um i have a little plastic tray here which is from the dollar tree i, I messed that up because i oops lifted it up anyway um and i've got some bags here on the side that have stickers in them literally a jar from uh, a home chef meal kit that I'm just the pens and pencils I'm using on this project are in my glue stick my scissors 
notepads and the journal itself and some random big scraps of paper in the back. This is gonna work great for me because now I can just take this when I'm not working on it and I need to work on something else and take it up off the table, put it on the ironing board or put it over here on one of my, sh one of my shelves down there out of the way and easy to clear the table. So when I'm done creating in the journal, I put everything back in the box and then I'm good to go. And I didn't spend any money on it. I had all of these things. Um, the other thing is I'm working on a pen pal project with some friends and family, because we figured we're all stuck at home. This Corona thing is just ridiculous um, and scary and dangerous. And wouldn't it be great to reconnect with each other, document, um, our journey through the pandemic and everything and someday put all the letters back together in a book. Um, so we are working on the pen pal project and I've got my first two letters here and some blank note cards I found in my stash. Funny enough, I'm going to have to buy more because I'm using up all my note cards finally that I've had like 20 years. I still have ones from when we got married. I got blank note cards that say Mr. and Mrs. Robert Aarons. Yeah, so we're using them all up. Anyway, um, to make a box to hold all the note cards and stationery, I have another box from a meal kit. This is a this was a shrimp taco meal kit from Contessa Foods. And they come in these beautiful, great boxes, uh, which I just love, but I never have the heart to throw away because they're great boxes. So I am going to use the box. There's a random piece of cardboard in there. I'm going to use the box and I'm going to, at the very least, just put a label on it, but cover it or something. And that's going to be the stationary box for the pen pal project for the pandemic. So using what you have, you could make some really great storage solutions for your art room that work for you without spending any money. You can make them look prettier than this. This one's, you know, still got all the labels from the tomatoes on it. I'm not going to cover it. I like the way it looks. Um, but you can definitely make it look prettier, cut it up and reformat it um, to work in your space for what you need. If you don't believe me, watch Mike Deacon's vlog, which just came out today. I will link it down below. In his vlog, he, do, he does a DIY project. And he has a video on how to do it in a different video. And I think it's linked in the bit below his vlog. Anyway, check it out. But look around your house, see what you have, and what will work for you for a storage solution. Now, if you're like me and you're tempted to save everything because you can use it someday. Yeah, I've got the someday disease from my grandmother, Jenny. God bless her, she's passed now. But when we, she did pass, I didn't realize how bad for her it was because she had a garage full of empty boxes and boxes of boxes and boxes of jars. And I'm definitely that person. So I designate a special space for myself up here upstairs. And when that's full, I have to get rid of things or I have to use it up before I can save anymore. Otherwise, I definitely have the someday disease and I'll just, I'll fill my house up with empty stuff. So don't be, don't, don't get the someday disease. Anyway, we are gonna go for a walk in a little bit. Hopefully the video will load soon and yeah, we'll make it work. But yeah, look around and see what you have. When you have a project that's a little messy and you need to corral it a little bit, maybe you have some bits and pieces and parts you can make a tray for it with. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. It's just after 10 o'clock and I need to film five more December daily pages. Um, I think we'll be doing some bonus pages for the lives um, going forward this month. Um, which is why I put the box together yesterday that I did so that I can have everything sort of set and organized and work on other stuff in between. Anyway, I seem to be incapable of getting started before 10 a.m. <laughs> any day this week. That just seems to not be a thing for me right now. I don't know what it is, COVID fatigue or I don't know. And I'm actively avoiding the news and anything other than creative videos or soap opera or tonight is Thursday so Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 are on. Um, any sort of reality TV is a no-go for me because it's just all depressing. We're all busy arguing about having to wear a mask and be socially distant and it's an infringement on our rights and COVID is fake and really? Really? COVID is not fake. 
Yes, some people get a mild case and get over it very quickly. Some don't, and it overwhelms our medical system. And if y'all would just wear a mask and do what you need to do, we wouldn't be stuck in the situation we're in, and especially in the United States right now. It's not about you and your rights. It's about humanity. And we can't get the economy back on track with if people are dead. And the vaccine is going to be a few months in coming for most of us. And um, it's, yeah, not going to get, it's going to get worse before it gets better, especially with people not doing what they need to for the holidays and not sticking with their little social bubble and traveling when they shouldn't be and all the things. Anyway, and in the meantime, we also don't have any stimulus money for any of the people who really need it, the businesses and people without work and we're the only country in the world that's not helping their citizens the way they should. It's shameful. It's not about politics. I don't give a damn who's in the White House, fun fact. I didn't vote for either one of them. I just want whoever's there to do their job. That's all I want. Anyway, it's my little tirade for the day. In the meantime, I'm gonna work out some of my stress about it in my December daily, and we're gonna work on focusing on the positive. So I'm gonna set everything up and turn the filming lights on and shut the doors and get it done, and I will be back. It's 9.16 a.m. Friday, December 4th, I think. Um, obviously, I'm in the car. I have some international Christmas cards that need to go out today. Well, I want to go out today. And because they're international, I have to take them down to the post office and get posted to see easiest way so um i'm gonna go do that i need sunglasses it's bright aye, aye, aye. um 
So I'm gonna go do that and I have to go to the bank to I have to go to the I'm just gonna use the drive through ATM. Uh, will I stop anywhere else? That depends on how brave and safe I'm feeling. So we'll hey see. Guys, I'm back. Um <laughs> anyway, I've been back for a bit and I had some lunch. Um <clears throat> I was out and about running errands and I said I may or may not stop in Joanne's. I, I don't know if remember now if I said I stopped at Joanne's, but anyway, they didn't have much of what I wanted. I did find some other things there. So I got wrapping paper because I had a really good deal on wrapping paper. I got a couple of Christmas ornaments and stuff like that, but I was looking for more winter themed things I could use in the December daily. And of course they were just completely wiped out. Like half of the arts and crafts department of the store was just wiped. Um, which has been on and off since this whole pandemic thing started, to be fair. Anyway, um, I decided, though, that the kind of embellishments that I wanted for the December Daily, I probably wasn't going to find to begin with. I did show pr prior <coughs> a small set of... Um, semi pre-cut images from it was a German creator and it's in the labels in the trash now but um, I'll try to put the name here somewhere um, and they were they're really good um, but they were really small smaller than I thought there was like one um, deer sort of woodland animal in the Tim Holtz set that I got the paper pack I bought locally actually, funny enough, has woodland creatures in it. Do you see a theme? So I'm really enjoying using the snowflakes and the woodland creatures. So I thought, well, kind of what I want is kind of specific. Probably nobody's going to have it. I could make it myself, but maybe there's somebody out there with a digital download that could use the business right now and that I could help spread the word and that I could use their images to make some DIY sticker flakes to use in my journal. Because you can do that with digital downloads, mine or anybody else's, right? You don't have to just print them on paper. You can print them on label paper. This is Avery. I don't know, Avery. It's a like full sheet of label paper. It's not a full sheet because I cut off the bottom already, but it's a full sheet label paper. And you just run it through like you would any other paper and you print the images and leave a space in between so you can cut them out. Um, this is from Opie Design Studios. This is one of the two sets that I bought. I bought Evergreen and I bought Woodland, Winter Woodland Watercolor. I think I'll link them both below. I really like her images. I wanted some deer. I wanted some trees. Her images are really nice, high quality, high resolution images without the background so that you can layer them. So she has this trees and then she has, yeah, yeah, hold on, this guy. And I really wanted one or two of him on top of the trees. So I layered the images before I printed. She also had this other one that was sort of a lighter toned color that has different kinds of deer and sort of lighter shades. So, cause she's got this, this is the one from the Winter Woodlands and this is the one from Evergreen. So you can see the shades of color she used are slightly different. The trees are different too, because you have this one from Evergreen, and then you have these that are sort of a brighter green from the other one. And they also had this tree, which again, I printed and I printed in different sizes. Um, the winter woodland set also had just sort of these arrangements of foliage. So I am, I've cut out a whole bunch of them. I've got these other ones to cut out, but I think I want to just give you guys all the idea that you can use anybody's digital downloads, mine or anybody else's. You don't have to print it on paper, print it on sticker paper. As long as you're not selling it, you're using it for your own work and your own um, use. For most of us, that's fine. You print it on sticker paper. If, if, especially if you like, maybe you're into planners, but you want a few um, trees or deer to put on the side of your planner. I mean, 
I would much rather make my own stickers than go buy them because frequently I want something specific that I just can't find anyway. I have, that doesn't mean I don't have store-bought stickers. I do, but I haven't bought any store-bought stickers in a really long time and I'm trying to use what I have. So I have been finding a lot of joy lately in just making my own um, out of digital image, imagery. Um, I also need to go online and look at Mike Deacon's digital downloads because I think I want to get a few more of his. I've only got one or two sets of his. I think I want to get a few more of his and print them on label paper too, not for the December Daily for other stuff. So anyway, check it out. Give it a thought. Check out Opie Design Studio's website. I love her files. Now they're kind of expensive, but they are large, large files. So large that when you download it from Etsy, you're actually downloading the download instructions because her files are so large and so high res that they're not, um, it's focusing on the computer. <laughs> they're not, um, they're too big for Etsy. Um, and I did it, I did it, it works just fine. It's very safe and secure. Um, but, and right now her store's um, on sale. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but right now when I bought the files, her, her stuff is on sale. So anyway, um, in my opinion, even at a regular price, it's worth the price. And you're supporting a fellow creative. It's always good. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna get to cutting and watch some YouTube while I'm doing it, and I'll be back. since just after 11 o'clock this morning mm -hmm. running errands we did make one quick 10 minute pit stop at home to unload the car once and use the restroom um it is 2 54 p.m and we're just headed home and done for the day <laughs> this is the most errands we've done in one day and most people-y things since this whole nonsense with the pandemic started but i think we got the majority of the christmas present yep. buying done there's a few things we need to mm -hmm. order online to be drop shipped to drop shipped to different people around the country but uh, other than that I think we're finished and we should be able to get that done tonight too so I'm hungry we haven't had lunch yet hangry, hangry yes so we're gonna head home unload the car and, and it's getting dark out too yeah it's, and it's getting dark I should say yeah it's after three o'clock there's a, a giant wall of clouds headed in and evidently a storm so yeah that's fun all right we're just getting home and I guess we're interrupting dinner and here comes Rocky to try to steal some food yes <laughs> he's gonna try to get over there before she does It is Saturday evening, it's just after five o'clock, and 
my table is set up for Christmas gift wrapping, <laughs> as is the ironing board. Um, and there's off camera that way, the pile of gifts we have to wrap. Plus I think my husband's got some stuff in his office. So guess what we're doing tomorrow? <laughs> wrapping pre presents, trying to get the majority of them wrapped. Number one, to get that done, but number two, so I can put my table back to rights. Yeah, anyway, um, I think that's it for today and for this week. It's been a crazy busy day. I, I don't think that we knew when we left the house we were going to that many different places, um, but we have two favorite sort of European markets here in the area. There's a lot of them actually up here, German and uh, Russian markets, and we probably bought way too many cookies, but oh yeah, yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm lucky we didn't come home with a grocery bag full of sausages and things too. It is just the two of us. It's ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> the dangers of shopping when you're hungry. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's, you know, crazy, weird, interesting world. It's certainly never boring. Um, but, um, you know, any day on the right side of the dirt's a good day, right? So anyway, um, I hope that um, you guys have had a good week, as good as it can be for you. And um, if you haven't, big virtual hugs from me. And um, how can we help you? Uh, we as a creative community help you uh, make it better. Um, it's difficult for everybody right now. And I feel for the war entire world. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the videos on my channel. I do certainly appreciate that. Even when I ramble on in the vlog, um, I appreciate the thumbs up, if you will. And, uh, you know, support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. Um, there's lots of links in my video description for doing that. There's also my Instagram link and all that kind of stuff if you want to just follow me on Instagram or over on Facebook or something like that. You can find all that stuff out down below. There's a link tree list of links. You'll find all the places I am on the internet on that list for the most part. Probably a few places I forgot that I am because that's a thing anyway. Um, I will see you all next week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear your mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. All right. I'm going to get downstairs and I'm going to have some more water, maybe make a cup of tea before dinner. And yeah, finish up the gift wrapping. Manana. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.